You may know NASCAR driver Brandon Brown for his work behind the steering wheel, but you may also know him from the extremely viral catchphrase, let's go Brandon. After an NBC reporter was interviewing him after a race and the crowd was chanting, F Joe Biden, when the reporter said that the crowd was chanting, let's go Brandon, from there it became a worldwide meme, a worldwide catchphrase. And unfortunately though, Brandon Brown is actually suffering because of that. Apparently, a lot of these corporations are scared to work with him or being pressured away from working with him now because of that catchphrase. He says, quote, in an interview with the Sports Business Journal, it got extremely difficult for us. If you're a national corporation, that means you sell to all consumers. And unfortunately, when you get dragged into the political arena, people want you to take a side. He added, it's hard for a brand to want to attach to somebody who might be kind of divisive in their consumer base. If I'm going to divide Coca-Cola, why would they want to talk to me? He added, so the short answer is it's been tough to connect with partnerships just because it's kind of viewed as a ticking time bomb. What is he going to choose or say? And how would we want that to affect our consumer base? It's too much of a risk. I understand it on their side, but it's made it really hard to tie everything down. Even recently, Joe Biden was taking phone calls, apparently, and one of the callers said, quote, I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas as well. Merry Christmas and let's go, Brandon. To which Joe Biden, seemingly confused, said, let's go, Brandon. I agree. This catchphrase has made its way to the White House now. And what is interesting is there are certainly a lot of sponsors that would be willing to sponsor Brandon Hopefully, some of you can spread the word and maybe attract some sponsors that are definitely willing to work with him, all things considered. I bet he's going to end up hopefully getting a lot of sponsorships. That is all for now. Be sure to subscribe to CountryCast for the latest news and updates in the country music world.